Hey y'all, today I wanted to make a video and just chat with y'all about one of the most desirable neighborhoods in St. John's, Florida, Beacon Lake. So Beacon Lake has two builders, Dreamfinders and Toll Brothers, and Dreamfinders is pretty much built out. There's a couple inventory homes left, but Toll Brothers did just release a lot of home sites and new floor plans in this neighborhood. So I wanted to go ahead and make a video about this neighborhood and specifically about Toll Brothers, just to give you an idea of the cost of living, what amenities there are, and the overall location of this neighborhood. Beacon Lake is in an absolutely amazing location. You are central between Jacksonville and St. Augustine, Florida. So you're about a 25 minute drive to the St. John's Town Center, about a 10 minute drive to the Nocatee Town Center, about a 15 minute drive to the nearest beach, which is Michler's Beach, um, to St. Augustine Historic District. You're about 40 minutes away. And then you are just in a great location when it comes to schools, restaurants, shops, hospitals. They just built a brand new Publix right outside the neighborhood so you could walk to Publix if you wanted to go get your groceries on a beautiful day. You're about 15 minutes to the Baptist South Hospital and you have tons of restaurants and shops that just opened in the Durban Pavilion. On to chatting about the fees for living in this community. So for HOA fees, you would pay a small $61 a year for just general maintenance of the common areas, which is great. However, there is also a CDD fee, which is a community development district fee. This will range, it's not a flat fee, it's dependent upon the size lot that you have. So you would see anywhere from about 2000 to 26 hundred um, in fees. That's an annual fee. It's paid with your property taxes at the end of the year. And for speaking of property taxes, this also of course has different variables, but we're seeing anywhere from 6,000 a year, which that CDD fee is included in that, not in addition to, um, up to $8,000 a year is what I have seen for property taxes in this community and area. Now, what do all of these fees get you? Well, I'm about to show you. Toll Brothers has two different sections in Beacon Lake. The first one is called The Landing, which has already started construction, but there are still lots available and inventory homes as well. The other section is called The Preserve, which was just released last week. So The Landing is one section and that is a gated part of Beacon Lake. So not all of Beacon Lake is gated, but this particular section is. So this section of the neighborhood has um, larger homes square footage wise and larger lots. So these floor plans in this section range from a minimum of 3,000 square feet all the way up to 4,000 square feet. These are bigger lots and of course have a bigger price tag. So these are starting in the upper 700s and then when you include lot premiums and upgrades you're looking to the 800 and up range. With the Preserve, the new section that was just released, these are a little bit smaller lots and smaller floor plans. So these floor plans range from about 2,400 square feet up to 3,000 square feet. And they start in the 600s. So again, when you add on the lot premium and the upgrades that you choose, you can be looking in the 700s, maybe upper sixes. So those are the two sections. The preserve is not going to be gated. It'll just be a regular part of Beacon Lake that you could drive into, but it's still a very good area. is 
You have a great day. All right, let's chat a minute about the schools that you would be zoned for. So for an elementary school, you would be zoned for Ocean Palms Elementary. For middle school, you'd be zoned for Landrum Middle School. And for high school, you would be at Nice High School. These are all public schools, all are A rated. If you wanted a great private school in the area, Bowles um, is a great option and is not too far of a drive from this community. Alrighty y'all, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and just gave you some insight as to what it would be like to live in Beacon Lake. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I have a whole packet of information on this community that I would be happy to share with you. So if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below or I will put my contact info on the next screen. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.